Hello and welcome back to Formula 105. We are at the last Grand Prix of the season. So, it's the Chinese Grand Prix and let's go. Now, welcome, welcome to qualifying. I don't feel that confident. I think I was only four tenths uh, ahead of uh, the next car uh, of the second place AI so I don't know how this is gonna go to be honest N almost a little bit shocking because China has been one of my stronger tracks in the past but uh, well let's not dwell on it and just get it going Okay, that's about as good of a lap that I did in practice. As you can see, they are not far away at all. Uh, but I can think of one thing. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't put on soft tires this time. Yeah, look at that. Let's do soft, because they're just playing better, it seems. Well, they wear out faster, but it's I just really not a concern. Doesn't concern me. Well, <laughs> so
soft tires are a, lot, are a lot faster. Became really evident when I ran wide in that last corner, but still did a better lap than in Q1. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Well, we're on pole. We're on pole, Alonso second, Barrichello third, Raikkonen fourth, Montoya and Klien fifth and sixth. <laughs> sixth. Uh, Coulthard and Villeneuve lines up on row four. Massa in ninth alongside Jensen Button. Okay start, I kind of shifted up twice, but... Except for that, everything went just fine. I mean, I can... Uh, oh my goodness. Well, I kind of corrected that spin. That's crazy. I don't remember what I was go going to say now. Or oh, whatever. I went wide in the first corner, but it's fine. You can take like any line in that corner. It's about as fast. Might actually be faster to take the outside line. corner you need to not step on the gas too late but it's a very narrow window where it is the most optimal now so far I've struggled to you know find that exact time to step on the gas late again soft tires does a lot I can feel an instant change to more grip and more speed it's just more optimal it's just the op optimal tire to use everywhere Struggling with this last corner as well. Keep breaking too late for it. And I keep taking this corner differently every time. A bit early again. At least if you compare to the racing line, that might be just as fast anyway. This corner in particular, you can really feel the grip of the soft tires. Wow. But I'm spin prone there, apparently. Wow. 
Wow, that, that spin was just crazy. And I could just correct it. I didn't get totally screwed on it. That's nice. No, too late again. Whatever that works as well. It was like too early instead. I think the exit of the second corner depends a lot on your speed, position, and yeah, yeah, that <laughs> speed and position. Very narrow gap, nevertheless, where you optimally should start accelerating fully. Doing that too. Going on too long. Recorded on 29th of August. That is today. <laughs> and it's also my birthday. But you know. I don't really care for my birthday at all. I don't care for anyone's birthday really. I just don't like the concept of birthdays. Yay, you're one year closer to death. I cannot help but think to that. Think like that. So, yeah. Nothing to celebrate. I feel like. Optimally you should think of it. Yay, I got to live for another year. But uh, I cannot. <laughs> I am not. I'm not such an optimist in that regard. So I cannot think of it like that. Plus I don't like all the attention I get as well. People like me in the inf J uh, personality types, they don't really like busy work, so keeping track of everyone's birthdays are is just pain in the ass. <laughs> and I'm going going and buying something or or at least, you know, getting a present. Have to buy presents, I suppose. Got, just go straight there, yeah. Whoa. I almost wanted to turn in between those hay bales or whatever they are. I remembered my pit stop. Yay! So... Yeah, that's why I don't like birthdays. I much prefer Christmas. At least here in Sweden, we, or at least my family, we make a quite a big deal of out of Christmas. We have many presents for everyone, like ten at least. So I much rather prefer that everyone gives everyone something much better much more even evenly distributed in terms of attention it's 
also find the give. But since there's so many people you give to and so many presents, like even if you fail to pick out a bad present for someone, you at least will nail it for the other ones. For someone. So I don't know, this this just so much more to to a Christmas. And plus all all of the families uh, gathered together. We can have a nice time. Plus it's in the winter, which is, you know, better sometimes. Well, no, that doesn't really matter. But what does matter is... You know, it being holidays, everyone is free at least for a few days. Yeah. I like Christmas a lot more. Just the feeling of Christmas is uh, a very nice feeling. Anyway, enough about that. Can I squeeze through here? Yes, I can. mention how well or how consistent we are driving right now we got this track pretty nailed down now oh bye bye probably slipstream me try and overtake he might succeed actually should step on the gas just moments momentarily not momentarily but just slightly earlier than I am Whoa. a full spin for the laughs I guess was bound to happen at some point I guess. Kinda annoying. It's kinda close. Close? Close. Close to overtaking Barrichello, my teammate. Come on, you're so slow in that corner. Hello? bound to happen. Whatever, we will take you here then. Like last lap. Yeah, 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 you're faster. Whatever. Not spin again, <laughs> shall we? Need to overtake Barry Callow so badly. Well, that worked. Yeah, 
wonder what, if I'll have enough time and desire, not desire, well, motivation, yeah, that's a better word, to put this up in reasonable time to the previous fuse the episode. <laughs> I can barely speak. Because you know, school is coming up in just a few days here. And uh, looks like it's going to be a tough term. It may be seen how tough it is, but yeah. Honestly, I can't keep studying for much longer. I hate it so much. Oh boy. I might do I might do extra work just to get the sameness feeling away from it all, you know. Let's do something different. Thinking of doing like homework help for high school or college students. Could have sworn the, sworn the tip of the analog stick was losing. Paranoid. I always think it is. Well, it's not the only change, or only thing that's happening right now. Um, not again. The car is really unstable when you break a lot. Like hard break and then a turn. And then try to do th throttle at the same time or something like that. Or just change your speed when you're just braked and turning. That's like really spin prone. Something else is happening right now, and that is I'm no longer alone in my big apartment. So I have a roommate now. Friend from college. I guess it's the closest equivalent. College is like not really what it is, but you know. The school after high school, <laughs> basically. They're gonna be living with me now in a separate room. I mean, they're two doors away, so I still get my privacy and such. And I get less rent, of course. But he's gonna try out studying. So, see how that goes for him. Maybe he'll leave, maybe he won't. I don't know. Maybe he'll find his own place. That's going to be interesting for this new term. I think that was really important important for me to get that in. So, this is the last live race we're going to have for a while. As I've said quite a few times now. We will just do race highlights. Or, you know, weekend highlights, I guess. Now, that, that's too much work. <laughs> let's say, let's say race highlights. Um, well, just, uh, 
I don't know, dumped together four races. And just pick out the best bits out of those. And do post commentary on it. So we're basically gonna do four races in 30 minutes or so. I think. Maybe I'll not be able to. Oh my god. So, you know. Compress it that far, but uh, maybe I will. That's where it's because I'm talking. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just bad. It's, it has been a little while since I last played. Of course. In like 12, 13 days or something. I can't remember exactly. get through this game. Uh, so we'll do those race highlights. Maybe it turn out good, maybe it won't. Most likely though it will slow down uh, episode production by a ton. So I, I don't just have to play the races, I also have to do the editing for those races. But I think it will be cool if I can get it done. As you may understand, studies will probably take the priority here. Whatever, I'll take it. Not another spin, at least. So we've done a 133.4. I guess that's pretty good. I can't get something that that's like super good, though. For last um, episode, well, no, let's not talk about that yet. Before we're gonna do these uh, race highlights of the fifth season, um, we're gonna do the rest of the laps required to get gold times on all tracks. And when we do, we're gonna check out track that we do unlock. So that will be an episode or, or something like that. Maybe not an episode, but you know. Checking out the, the special track is probably going to be an episode. said this before but you know I want to do everything in this game 100% it so the things that we haven't done once this career mode is over is we have to get enough points to get all of the helmets I'm not sure how to do that exactly we can just go into another career mode or whatever we have to do I don't know Just, you know, drive a championship with any driver. I wouldn't know. Just on this profile, I mean. Because we're not going to uh, be able to achieve that even if we win every race from now on. We're not going to be able to achieve the highest points required for all the helmets. And I also do want to 
you know, do a full scale race. Like, this is currently set to 30%. 30% of the real amount of laps. I don't know which track we would do. But, uh, something I have to think on. I can foresee myself, you know, making silly mistakes after an hour. That's probably gonna happen. Uh, I think that would be pretty interesting. Probably not gonna do more than one of those, but you know. And also rainy weather. We haven't driven like anything in rainy weather. So that's something I wanna try as well. But beyond that, there's really not much else I want to do in this game. So we'll probably move on. That'll probably be the end of the series. We'll move on to another racing game of some sort. Maybe... Oh my god. You're just never ready for something like that. Oh my god. Early breaking there because of that. That's a nice last turn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do after that. So for last episode, let's talk about this now, I did end up, you know, just replaying the race, but I've decided to just keep the original time there. This, uh, you know, I didn't, <laughs> I was lazy and didn't want to re-record a whole la race, but I included the results at the end just so you know how it actually turned out. I still won, not even by... I wasn't even close to the winning margin that I had in the actual episode itself. But, you know, it, it will suffice. I had a real poor race, though. Spun out in the beginning of the race and dropped down to 20th and did a lot of mistakes really struggled to get up to the lead I only did so after like uh, well when it was like two laps left or something but whatever uh, let's wait for the results and see exactly what our winning margin it was and the finale of all of the points for all the different drivers and constructors. Alright, so here's the results. 50 seconds ahead of Bar Barrichello. But, you know, as you can see, we didn't really lap anyone. Uh, well, you can't see it yet. But, you know, Reckonen in third. He got overtaken by Bar Barrichello, I saw. Probably because of one of my spins. It looked like I gave Barrichello the moment to overtake after that. Montoya 4th, Alonso 5th, but Button 6th. Yeah. And I did see Kartikeyan on this uh, victory lap. He had retired. That's the top 8. Isikala getting that last point. But Barrichello is the second place driver. 60 points behind us. Would have been more if we hadn't messed up the first two races. Oh my god. Um, we didn't totally win every single race or anything like that, but uh, 
very commanding the driver's championship. Montoya only one point behind Barrichello. Raikkonen a little bit distant, but not that much. He actually regained quite a few points here at the end. But uh, it would have been even worse had we stuck with, well, had the game not crashed in the Japanese Grand Prix because he did better in the second time around, the real round. Um, Alonso quite close to Raikkonen. Solid fifth place by Alonso. Completely destroying his uh, teammate Fisichella, which actually finishes behind Basel, which is quite poor indeed. Uh, Massa up there, uh, quite high up there with 29 points. And, well, the standout is probably Kartikeyan with this one point, but that happened really early on. Kleon also not managing to score a single point uh, compared to Kulthard's eight. Uh, so. Not great performance by him. Heidfeld also only 3 points. Not very good. Ferrari takes the most constructor points. Uh, and we win by a lot. 75 points ahead of McLaren. Which are a further 52 ahead of Renault. Pretty crazy you ask me. And Honda of course up in fourth, well ahead of Sauber. Toyota ended up sixth. Uh, BMW Williams in seventh. Five points uh, behind Toyota. Three points ahead of Red Bull though, which uh, you know in, in their first season they actually in 2005, Red Bull wasn't that competitive, to be entirely honest. That, that was their uh, first season ever, so not so surprising, perhaps. And, of course, with Carter Kayen, at one point to Jordan. Final podium celebration of the season. <laughs> the Constructors' Championship. We didn't have that previously, I suppose. And a new helmet as well. That will go nicely with the Ferrari. As you can see, that took 390 championship points. I think the top helmet takes 600, so... Yeah, we have a we have a ways to go. Nothing special. I I guess I guess we'll go to this end of season party. I I, I don't know <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, you know hands that you cannot uh, move. You cannot make fists with them. I don't know what you will call it. You can't move your fingers. Yeah, sure. We'll we will be able to get to see that. It's gonna be fantastic, right? I'm saving just in case it crashes. It has crashed once now this game, so who knows when it will happen again. Yeah, there we go. This is so weird, looking at their hands. I 
I am the new world champion. I truly am. Second time. Two times world champion. Merc and Raw. Sounds pretty good. And with two different teams. Only my first constructors though. And we're back to the new season here, but that will be in <laughs> the next, or maybe the next after that episode, <laughs> yeah! And of course it will be the recap, the highlights, instead of full commentary. But full commentary will be back in those special races for rain and... Uh, you know, full length. Whenever that's gonna happen, I don't know. But until, until season five, thank you very much for watching.